It's time for the 2019 football season. We're here with head coach Mike Clark. A lot of talent on this year's roster. We'll start on the defensive side of the ball. You have a lot of seniors returning, especially up the middle at linebacker, at safety. Talk a little bit about the experience you have in that group. Well, I think certainly you've had experienced players coming back. You can build a lot of things, but you can't build experience. You either have it or they don't. And, and I don't think there's any question with the group of linebackers and then you're putting Matt Dang in the center of the field. That, uh, that Those are kids that have played a lot of good football. Uh, they're physically mature, uh, and, and which has been fun to see, really, when they got back here. You could tell in an environment where we do not control them over the summer, where we don't have access to those kids. You know, for the most, most part, the kids in our junior and senior class, they manage their business pretty well. They, they showed up in August ready to play. They whether it be cut weight or add weight, they did the things we asked them to do back in May over the summer on their own. And to me, that's a good testimony. And I've always felt this, if you play great defense, you're probably going to have a chance in the fourth quarter. And I think we could, we're capable of doing that. Uh, along those lines, too, you know, we also had some guys that, you know, we thought were role players that they, they've improved, particularly on the defensive line. And, and that's where we have to reload. Uh, you can have speed at a lot of different spots, but if you lose control of the line of scrimmage really on either side of the ball, it will not show up as much. And I think that was a, a positive that we were able to, we weren't sure where we were going to be, and I think we're in a comfortable spot really at every position on the defensive side of the ball right now. And you have some experience at important spots on the offensive side of the ball. You have the rare situation of having a fourth-year starter at quarterback and Jay Scroggins back for a fifth year. I think the last five games he played last season was the best he's played. Uh, you have a really, you know, really good left tackle who was a first-team all-conference selection last year. So even though there's some holes you got to fill with younger players, you also have experience at key spots. Right? Well, I think on offense, uh, what separates right now the offense from the defense is I think on the defense we have a little bit of depth at some positions. Uh, you know, we have backup players that also have a little bit of game experience or a pretty high level of athleticism. And I think what we have to try to do on offense, particularly early in the season, we don't control it. Uh, you know. We're razor thin at some critical spots. Uh, in, in the meantime, it is what it is. There's not a waiver wire out there for me to see who somebody else is cutting that I'm going to try to get to my roster here next Tuesday. And we have to play with the cards we have, not the ones maybe we wish we have. And, you know, my hope is, is you're right, if you have seen your good leadership at the quarterback position at any level, that stirs the drink. And certainly Jay Scroggins, uh, I haven't had a lot of fifth-year players. I don't get a lot of them at this level. And at the quarterback position, I, I've only had one in my 20-some years here. And, and, and that guy ended up being a pretty good player for us on a pretty good team. That was Robbie Jenkins going way back to 2002. You open up against Gettysburg, a team that will have a lot of new faces this year. Every year I ask you about their spread wing offense, but last year they had a, a transfer quarterback seem to maybe do more of a traditional drop back on a lot of snaps. He's now moved to running back, but in any case, whatever they did, your front six really won a lot of individual matchups in that game. Well, what are we expecting this year? Well, you know, it was interesting. You know, Gettysburg chose, they didn't want to trade film with us in the summer, so we, we didn't get an evaluation of, of their work at the end of the year last year, and they didn't get an evaluation of ours. So we really had to try to take the summer and, and make it about Bridgewater. Uh, I could see why they maybe moved that quarterback to tailback. He, he was their best athlete. Uh, you know, our summer plan until we saw their too deep was to, in their read option offense to take the quarterback out of the game and you know so we've had to rethink a couple things here just based on a depth chart and you know what we've tried to do that they've got about a dozen kids that played a lot against us last year that will be playing against us again this year and we really have had to go back and try to study them uh, their staff has stayed been together a while it's an experienced staff and you know I we we'll have to be good at the game. Our, 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 our eyes are going to be open. We're going to be sharp at the start. But I think sometimes when you're not totally sure what your opponent's going to do from your game plan, as I tell my coaches, sometimes you got to ask the question, well, what, not what else do we need, but what can we do without? And maybe it will help us going out for game one to be simple, really on both sides of the ball, and just go out and play hard and fast. Uh, my hope is that we didn't have the preseason game this year. I just couldn't get one scheduled. We had a little a nurse squad about a week, to, week ago that gave us some indication of how kids would perform in the clutch. But uh, my hope is the energy that the kids get seeing somebody in a different color jersey, a different color, color helmet, will, will pay dividends. So some of the operational stuff, we're, we're just going to have to 
be good at at the game, not having had that practice opportunity in the preseason. You're not going to want to talk about anything big picture yet beyond trying to go one and zero this week. But you have a roster capable of good things this year, and this weekend we're bringing back the 2001 national finalist team, our first team of distinction. Do you think that will be valuable for this group to you know, get that experience, meet some of those guys, see players who won ODAC championships here, won NCAA games here? Well, I think you hit it right on the head with your first part of the question. I think it behooves us to be a, a, a focused team that manages it one week at the time. You know, a year ago we didn't have any expectations or nobody had expectations for us, so we could play under the radar. Really, after week one, we're saying, "Hey, I'm working on house money." It was it was gravy, what we were predicted to be. But I, I do think this. Uh, I'm excited that the group comes back. Oh gosh, we've gotten great feedback and turnout, and anticipated great crowd. Those are young men, now. young men bringing back families, and it's neat for me to see what they're doing with their lives after football. But as I told somebody earlier, I, I'm in a great spot here this weekend. Uh, there's going to be a group of people out there to tailgate that I might sneak out and say hello to that. I'm part of their memories, and there's some great memories there, but I can walk, walk right back into that locker room, and I've got a younger group of kids, and I'm still part of their dreams. And my hope is, you know, the two of those things mesh, we get some kind of great synergy and energy, and really go out and just have a great game here on Saturday night. It'll be fun to play. It's, um, football's one of those sports, what you have to do off of the field to get to a game is long and complicated, and boy, when it comes time to play, uh, I certainly learned over time. I'm going to make sure I enjoy those opportunities and I hope our kids do the same thing.